My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty.
so glad you guys are joining me today for our online edition of Torch Kids Junior. This month, remember, we are doing Fear Patrol. And hey, let's get started with calling out Big Idea. All right, guys, I'm going to need your help from home. Are you ready? We're going to count down from three and call out for Big Idea. Three, two, one. Big Idea. Did somebody say Big Idea? Big Idea, I am so glad you're here today. I'm glad you're here today, too. Guess what? It's a special day, Big Idea. Why? Do you see any of our friends here today? Oh, yes, I do. Hey, everybody, how are you? They're online, joining us online today. All right, it's like we're internet famous. Uh, that's right, Big Idea. Hey, we may be by the end, you never know. Oh, you never know. <laughs> we make it light. That's right. Hey, listen, we're still doing Fear Patrol this month. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, do you have a big idea that will help us and help I our friends do. out when they feel fear? Okay, here it is. God is with me. God is with me. I love that big idea. Hey, I'm going to add some motions to it if you're okay with that. Oh, sure. All right, friends, help me out. You ready? Let's do it again. Now, remember, our big idea is God is with me. That's right. So, all right, you ready, big idea? Ready. All right, friends, take your pointer fingers. Let's point them up. God, God is with me. Is with me. Now, when you come back to me, I want you to take your thumbs and point them to you. Bring them back to yourselves. All right, let's do it again. You ready? God, God is with, is with me. me. That is a great big idea. Very good. I love it. You know what? That is just perfect for our Fear Patrol Month because, you know, anytime that our friends are feeling afraid, anytime that we feel afraid, we can remember that big idea that God is with me and we won't have to be afraid anymore. That's right. That's awesome, big idea. Hey, thanks for coming out for this special edition. Oh, you're welcome. All right. For hey, this special edition. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Friends, let's help big idea. Bye. Bye, Bye. big idea. Bye, world. All right, guys, that is a great big idea. Now, remember, anytime that you feel fear or you're afraid of anything, you can always remember that God is with me and that fear can leave you. Now that we've heard our big idea, let's call out Holy Word. Now, remember, friends, we have to whisper when we call out Holy Word. So go ahead and get your whispering voices on. Are you ready? I'm going to count us down from three. Three, two, one. Holy word! Holy word! Holy word! Woo! Holy word! Hey! Hey, how are you? Oh, I, hey, I'm great. Have you talked to Big Idea this morning? Oh yeah, sure did. Uh, did he tell you what we are doing today in TK Jr.? Well, it looks like we're doing Fear Patrol. We, oh, yes, yes, we are doing Fear Patrol, Holy Word. But guess where all of our friends are today? Where? They're at home. They're at home? Yes, they're at home. But no worries, they're watching us. Through. Oh, are we on the internet? Oh, yes, we are, Holy Word. Tell them hi. Look straight hi, at the camera and say hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, Holy Word, Big Idea had a great big eye thought for us today about how um, we can, can help us. Oh, yeah, he told me. He said that God is with me. Yes, God is with me. So, what's your Bible verse today that can help us with our fear? Today's Bible verse is perfect love. Perfect love. Drives away. Drives away. Fear. Ooh. Where do we find that in the Bible, Holy Word? That's a great one. We find that in 1 John. 1 John. 4. 4. Dot, dot. Okay, dot, dot. 18. 18. So, so, oh, I like it. I like that one, Holy Word. Perfect love drives away fear. That's right. Okay. 1 John. 1 John 4, 4, dot, 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 18. 18. Oh, that's a good one. I love it. Hey, thanks for bringing that to us today. You're welcome. All right, see you, Holy Word. See ya. Friends, say bye. Holy Word brought us the perfect verse for our fear control. Let me do it again. Holy Word brought us the perfect verse for our fear patrol this month. Perfect love drives away fear. Now listen. Turn into your Bibles to 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, and you will find that verse that perfect love drives away fear. And remember, anytime that you feel scared or afraid, call on God. Go to your Bible. Look up that verse that you know and repeat it to yourselves, and you'll drive away that fear. <gasps> Friends, it sounds like it's time someone is calling, and I think that they need our help. 
Let's see who it is. Oh, it's my friend Mason. Oh, Mason's in trouble, guys. Mason is very, very tired. Let's call out Rocco. Help me out on the count of three. One, two, three. Rocco! Rocco! Rockoers, right in a row! Rocco, look at this picture. What is it? This is Mason. Oh, it looks really tired. Rocco, Mason is very tired. But why? You see, Mason is scared of the dark. He has trouble sleeping at night, and that's why he's so tired. His parents put a nightlight in his room, but it hasn't helped. He is still afraid of the dark. Oh, no, that's terrible. Right? We have to help Mason face his fear. Yes. Let's, what can we do? We can help him, I know. Well, I can tell Mason a story about David and Goliath. I love that story. You see, when the Israelites were afraid, David had courage because he knew that God was with him. And I can tell him that whenever I'm afraid, I just pray and say, I'm not afraid because God is with me. Oh, I love that, Rocco. We can definitely tell Mason not to be scared because God is with me. That's right. But back to the story about David and Goliath. That is one of my favorite stories from the Bible. You know, just like Mason... And just like all of us, sometimes we are afraid. We're scared. The Israelites were scared. Do you know why they were scared, Rocco? Do you remember? Because the Philistines were going to take over their country. Yes. The Philistine army had come to take them over, right? And That's so right. every day, the, the, the Philistine giant, he came out. And he challenged the Israelites. And you know what the Philistine giant's name is? What is it? Goliath. Yes, it was. It was Goliath, right? And so Goliath would come out every day, and he would stand on the mountain, and he would shout to the to the um, Israelites, and he'd want to know which one was going to face him today. Oh. And guess what? But what? The Israelites were not lined up to fight Goliath. That's right. All except for one, which is David. David. He's the only one that had courage that day, right? That's right. And all the other ones... I, Oh, I can see it now. I can see it now, Rocco. I bet that they were in their tents just peeking out. And when they saw Goliath, they probably shut their tents back really fast. Oh. Maybe so. I don't know. But you know what? David came to the scene, right? That's right. And David wondered why all the Israelites were afraid of Goliath. Why they were afraid. Why they weren't coming out and fighting this giant. That's right. So David decided he was going to fight the giant. That's right. And so he went to King Saul, and he told King Saul his idea. That's right. And uh, King Saul uh, wanted him to wear his army. Oh, yes. He wanted him to wear his armor, didn't he? Now, I don't know, but that would that's, that's a big armor for a little boy. That's right. That would be like putting on your daddy's shoes when you're seven years old. They're like too big for you, right? That's right. So David couldn't go out and fight a giant in this armor that was way too big for him. That's right. He couldn't all even he, move. You see, all he needed is a slingshot and a stone, and then all of a sudden, Goliath fell flat on the ground. Yes. David won his battle that day against the Philistine army and against Goliath. And That's you know right. why he won it? Why? Because he had God with him. He knew that it was God's battle and not his. And God was always with him. And he was able to put the fear aside because God came in. That's right. right. So, I think that's what we need to remind Mason today. That's right. That anytime you're afraid and anytime you're scared, because let's face it, Rocco, we all get scared sometimes, right? That's right. And sometimes we all have fears. That's right. Sometimes I'm afraid of spiders. Or snakes. Ooh, snakes. Oh, and the dark. Sometimes I'm afraid of the dark. Yeah, and scorpions too. Ooh, scorpions too, right. But we can always remember and we can always say that... I'm not scared. God is with me. That's right. All right. Hey, let's go help Mason out and let's tell him the story. All right. All right. Hey, friends, we're going to go help Mason and we're going to go share the story of David and Goliath with Mason. That's right. And, and uh, if you want to see the video, click at the link in the description. All right, guys. Till next time.